Welcome everybody. In this video I will be showing you how you can use the Boogie Board Sync as a digitizer slash mouse on your computer. Now this is a pretty simple um, process, a very simple process, but is often overlooked in the instructions and setting up. So many people just haven't figured out um, how you can get this to work when in reality it's a very simple process. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing in getting this thing set up is down by downloading the default software for this device. And this comes from www.myboogieboard.com slash support slash downloads. And go ahead and click on the download. And it will just take a few seconds to download the zip package. Now once it's downloaded, go ahead and head into the downloads folder and you can right click on the zip and choose 7-zip or whatever file extraction you have and choose extract here. Now that it's extracted go ahead and click on the MSI file and it will go ahead and start setting up the sync uh, VDD uh, software and choose yes to allow it installation and it should be done now. Now the next thing you want to do is plug in your device and when you do so, which I have already done, it should pop up with a firmware, um, a driver installation thing. Um, it might have to do this or it might not, um, and should just go ahead and install the driver for the device. Now the next thing you want to do is just open up the Sync VDD um, software. And you can see this is the default one where you can um, go ahead and see live drawings from the um, device and think. Uh, but what many people overlook is that down here either in the um, the hidden uh, icon tray or just the large icon if it's if it's appearing there um, go under the sync um, program and right click and you can see that it's in VDC mode all you have to do is go up and change it to digitizer mode and then you can use it as a mouse um, it's simple controls. The button on the pin seems to just show you where the mouse is. Um, long clicking on an app and letting go does a right click and everything else just works like a normal um, touchpad. Um, double clicking and everything works the same way. Everything seems to work the same as a mouse or touchpad. And so that's about it. Um, it's a very simple setup, like I said, and many people just overlook that setting and aren't sure how to set it up. One more thing I'd add is that in the add or remove programs, if you leave the um, device, the program in digitizer mode, you can actually go ahead and uninstall the um, sync software and it will actually still work as a digitizer as it appears to have worked with me even after rebooting. So I hope this helps. Thank you all for watching.